I did a random word story, an improv story, and I had it all set up to record the words as I was doing it, but um, yeah, I didn't hit the record button for the words, so you're going to have to trust me <laughs> that the words <laughs> that come up are the actual correct words that I had to use. Okay, I'm going to need just some fun. I'm in need of some laughter. So, what are we going to do about it? I think it's time. I'll be right back. An improv story. And let's hope that it goes a little funny this time. Alright, I'm going to hit this three times. Okay, peace. The story is called Peace. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> that was <laughs> peace. Once upon a time, there was a valley. It was a peaceful valley at the bottom of two mountains. That's why it's called a valley, because it's surrounded by mountains. There, otherwise, it wouldn't be a valley. A valley is, yes, two, two some things that form a valley. So there was this valley surrounded by these beautiful mountains. And it was very peaceful, except for one lady who had white hair and was a little crazy. She brought to the table just a little bit of mischief because she didn't like to be bored. And when she did get bored, she felt it was in her best interest for the kingship of the community that lived in the Peaceful Valley to stir the pot a little bit. So in order to stir the pot, she would offer up these challenges. And they could be, uh, how many buckets of water can you fill in 30 seconds into her cauldron so that you know, she wouldn't have to fill her cauldron in order to boil her laundry. But the villagers didn't realize that they were doing her work for her by doing these challenges. And they had fun with them, and they laughed. But the white-haired lady got her cauldron filled and didn't have to drag the water from the river all the way to her cauldron to heat it up. So once it was all in there and she boiled her laundry, she had to squash it all down too, so to get all the water out. But it was heavy and then it was hot water and she didn't want to burn her hands. So what she would do was offer a portrait to paint a portrait, portrait of somebody who could wring her clothes out for her. And she was a very mediocre artist, but at the time, there wasn't a lot of people that lived in this valley because it was peaceful. And if you have a lot of people in a valley, it, it tends not to be peaceful. Or if you just have a few, then it, you, your chances of it being peaceful, uh, you know, it, it gets a little bit better. And the whole town realized that the lady with the white hair was a little cuckoo. So they all bonded together in kingship 
to talk about the weird lady that lived in the woods. So a portrait by her became a thing of a bragging right because even though it wasn't really good at all and it looked nothing like them they could brag that you know she took the time to make a drawing well this caused chaos because everybody wanted a portrait so there would be a line for people to burn their hands getting the laundry out fast enough so they could squash it. And it was ridiculous. People were, were hurting themselves. And this was a peaceful rally. And people with burned hands and them all wrapped up it doesn't exude peacefulness. It's, it's, it was just chaotic. On, on laundry day. So the white haired woman decided to put down a basket and in the basket there was stones in there and they had to form a single line whoever wanted to be the ones to wring out and squash her laundry so it would dry faster. There was one orange rock in there with the rest of they were white rocks and whoever got the orange rock got to do the thing so also to make it even that much more special there was a bell over by the laundry line and whenever the person finally picked the orange rock they could run over and ring the bell and then everybody knew not to have to stand in line anymore they could go back to what they were doing while whoever won the orange rock then would go about the business of squishing the laundry wringing it out and then hanging it very nicely on the line now, in order to do this, you needed a lot of muscle, especially in your hands. And the white haired lady, you know, she was old and she had knuckles that would swell up. So in reality, the villagers, knowing this, were nice enough to let the white haired lady have her way with her challenges and contests and drawings because they knew that they were helping her with a chore that had to be done and she was too proud to ask for help and this way they could help her and she could still have her pride and that is the end of our story for today have a great day everybody I hope you enjoyed that bye